six, and it's called circles in the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So in this first problem, they say, find the area of this change. I'm just going to give you a few sample problems, um, because all of them are a little bit different. I like these because they're kind of fun. They're challenging. Find the area of the shaded, the shaded, shaded region. Any ideas how I can do that? That's all you're given. You go, how am I supposed to do that? I'm all I have is, I have Z. Well, let's pick a different color. Teal is a good color. What is this saying will have to be right there? It's got to be 60. Oh, they would probably also tell you that this is a tangent. Which means that if this is a tangent, what kind of angle is this up here? That's got to be a 90 degree angle. What's got to be true? And you guys told me this has to be 60, right? So if you, you have 60. Actually, how many degrees of the circle do you have? You have 300, right? Because this is 60, so you have three. So you have. So the area of the shaded part, right, is going to be 300, 360ths, right? of pi times r squared. But what's r in this case? How can I find three. Oh, Oh, wait. I gave you the wrong thing. Usually what they give you is something like, uh, they give you something like this over here. Like say this is, or maybe they give you this is 6. That was bad, OK? So then maybe they give you, let's just start again. You don't know this is 3. You don't know this is 3, OK? So if this is six, what does this have to be? Three, right? So they would give you something more like that, right? So this is six, then you have to use your brain to know that this is a special right triangle, so this is gonna be half of the hypotenuse. And then you go 3 sixtieths of pi times three squared, right? And so that reduces, I think, to five six, doesn't it? Five six of pi times nine, which uh, you could write as 45 pi over 6, which reduces, 3 goes into both of those, right? 3 goes in here 15 times? 15 pi <coughs> over 2, whatever the units, maybe it's inches, okay? Inches, 3 inches. So if it were in inches, then this would be inches squared, okay? And then if they ask you for an approximate answer, you plug that in your calculator and figure that out. Okay? So that's kind of a fun one. Um, what if they did? So here's another one. Okay? Questions? Move on. I'm just bringing up a few examples that you're going to see. So another circle. Another circle. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Circle. And then to that circle, they have... Some radii going out this way. Make it solid. And then they have some tangents going out this way. Oh, I'm a good picture drawer. And I love doing these things. And then they tell you that this angle here, even though it doesn't look like it in my picture, is 120 degrees. And they say, find this area out here, OK? Find the shaded area. Oh, I probably would have to give you something else, wouldn't I? I probably have to give you that the length of this side is h, OK? Now find the shaded area. Now find the shaded area. What could I do? What could I subtract from what? To find this part out here. Yeah, the area of the sector from the area of the kite. But there's a trick here. How can I find the area of that kite? I could, because this are 
What's this angle got to be here? If these were tangents, they would tell you these are tangents. So what's this got to be? 90, okay? They would tell you that these things are tangents. And uh, let's hide my little thing here. Um, what else could I do? How could I find the area of that shape? Could I cut it up somehow? Yeah, that's what I do. I cut it in half, right? So I draw a dotted line down the middle like this. And then I can, so what is this angle have to be here? 60, right? What is this angle have to be here? 30, which means the radius, this is a little tricky, okay? Because this is a side opposite a 60, so then you have to figure out the radius. Let's find the radius of that first. Who can tell me how to find that radius? This is the short side of a right triangle. This is the of a 30, 60, 90. This is not the hypotenuse. This is the long side. So how do I go from the long leg to the short leg? I divide by something. I divide by the square root of 3, right? Remember, go to short, short leg to long leg. You got to know this stuff. Otherwise, and a bunk on the test. So to get the radius, okay, radius is 8 divided by the root of 3. I'm just going to leave it like that for now because I'm going to end up squaring it anyway. And so uh, so then I want to find the area. How do I find the area of this triangle? Area of one of those triangles. What's the area of one of those triangles? How do I find the area of a triangle? Base times height divided by 2. But this is, you could call this the base and this is height because when it's a right triangle, I just multiply the two sides that are at right angles to each other. So I'm going to go, the area of a triangle is going to be 8 times 8 divided by root of 3 divided by 2, right? But how many of those do I have? 2, two right? So those kind of cancel out. <laughs> And I get the area of the kite, if you will, is going to be 64 divided by the square root of 3. I made this one be a little ugly on purpose. <coughs> okay? How do I find the area of this sector right here? How do I find this, this stuff in here? How do I find the area of that? Ben? So you find the whole area of the circle. Well, so yeah. So radius 5 times square. 8 over root of 3 squared. And how much of that do I have? Times uh, 120 of the square root. Which is what is a fraction? One third. one third, right? So I have one third of pi r squared. What's nice about this, why I left this as a square root, because one third of pi, I get 64, right? When I square a square root, that goes away. So I get 64 pi over this times this is 9. So that's the area, so this is the area of the sector, okay? And so like, uh, who said originally? I subtract those two things, right? So I have to find the area of the, the kite, right? Minus the area of the sector. So the area of the region, right, is gonna be, 64 pi over 9 minus 64. I'm going to do something. I'm going to rationalize the denominator. We've talked about that, right? Okay. Rationalize the denominator. And that becomes 64 root of 3 over 3. And that's, that's the area of the region. That's a pretty ugly looking answer. Okay. But I don't think the ones in your book come out as ugly as that. I guess I just make up some. I change the numbers to make the answers work. Okay, got that? Tough. That's a tough one. Okay, we're getting another one that's not quite as tough. Um, here's another circle. That's not a circle. Well, oh look, it turned it into a straight line. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna make a circle. Now I'm going to draw a triangle 
through the center of that circle. This is where I could do this. And it go, where's my picture? Um, let's see if this works. Do I weigh mist? Triangle. Yeah, good enough. Um, but I want this to go through, oh, not that. No. I want to move this. Should have drew these pictures before. I yeah. So let me see if I can shrink it a little bit. Shrink it. Perfect. Look at that. That's what I want it to look like. So what you have here is a uh, you have a triangle, a right a triangle inscribed in a circle, and they tell you that this is eight, and this is six, and they say find the area of the shaded part. Where's the shaded part? Shaded part's going to be here. Ch -ch 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 everything except the triangle. Find the shaded region. Who can tell me how to do that? Go ahead. Uh, Ian. Find the area of the circle subtract the area of the triangle. Very good. Find the area of the circle and subtract the area of the triangle. What do I need to do before I... Uh, okay, so the area of the triangle is easy because a, you have to recognize that this is what kind of angle? Not just because it looks like it. Why do you know that this is a 90 degree angle? Because what? Remember that rule that said if an angle is inscribed in a semicircle, then it's got to be a 90 degree angle because its intercepted arc is from here to here. So it's going to be half of that. So that's got to be a 90 degree. What does this side have to be by the Pythagorean theorem? Ten. This is a it's a multiple of a three four five Pythagorean triple. So this is a six eight. If you did do Pythagorean theorem, you get that that is ten, which means the radius is what? Five. Right. So the area of the shaded this one is easier. Right. Is equal to pi r squared, which in this case is five squared minus. The area of the triangle, what's the area of the triangle? Yes, yeah, 6 times 8 divided by 2, right? 6 times 8 divided by 2, and then you just simplify and you get 25 pi minus 24, whatever the units happen to be. Meter squared. Meters. Meters. Let's say that's a meter. Okay? And then one more, and then I'll be done. Are you ready for one more? So this next one's kind of tricky. Um, I like it though. Okay. So the next one you have is um, what do they do with this? Okay. So you have a uh, you start with a circle. Here's a circle, and and then within this circle they draw. We're not gonna make it dotted. Okay. They have this thing going here. They have this thing going here. And uh, they do, I'm going to call this AB. A, B. We'll call this C, D. We'll call this um, E over here, circle E. And what you know is that um, uh, AB equals 24. CD equals 8. Uh, find uh, the radius of the circle. So this is what you do. I would label these things. This is eight. If this goes from the center of court, what do you know about this this angle right there? 
If it goes from the center to the core, it's going, oh, and it's perpendicular. Okay, whoops. And uh, EC, also ED, you also know that ED is perpendicular to AB, okay? What do you know about, uh, what do you know about A, like, let's call this CB. What does CB have to be? If AB is 24, this is perpendicular to this, what does this have to do to this chord? Do you remember that rule? If, it's if you go from the center to the chord, what does it do to that chord? Bisects it. Okay, so if it's perpendicular, we had a conjecture back in the circle chapter that said this bisects it. So what does CB have to be? If AB is 24, what's CB? 12. 12. Okay. You know that this is 8 from C to D. But, so what you do is you call this X. This is where the trick comes in. Okay. And I said this is 8 down here. So if I were to swing this radius, I'm going to draw my radius out this way. If I were to swing this radius out here, how long would this piece be right here? In terms of x, and if this is x and this is 8, what's the radius of this circle? If this piece is x and this piece is 8, what's the entire piece? 8 plus x. 8 plus x, or x plus 8. So I'm going to call this x plus 8 over here. <coughs> See that? x plus 8? Because this is x plus 8, so wherever I put that radius, it's going to be x plus 8. Not drawing that great. So if this is x, this is x plus 8, this is 12, right? Because this is half of the 24. Then these are related by what? Pythagorean theorem. So then you kind of plug it into uh, the Pythagorean theorem, and you have to do some algebra here, okay? X squared plus 12 squared, right, is equal to X plus 8 in parentheses squared. And when you square that, you get X squared plus 144 equals, I have to remember I have to foil this. When I foil this, who would tell me what I get? X, not x squared plus how many x? 16. Or no, 16x plus 16x plus 64. Right? And what's very nice about this is what can I do with those x squares? They, since I have x squareds on both sides, I could just make them go away. And then I get 16x equals 144 minus 64, right? 144, what's 144 minus 64? Is that 80? Yeah. X equals? X equals? 16 divided into 80. Five. Five, okay? So the radius, right, is equal to five plus eight which is 13. See that? That's, you guys, are you confused by what I did there? That's a tricky, that's a tricky problem. What you gotta know is you have to know to swing this radius over here, and if this is x and this is eight, right? And then, let me make that eight there. And this is eight, okay? Then this is gonna be x plus eight over here. And uh, there you go. And that's how you do it. That's the end. <coughs> we have a lot of homework. I'm sorry. Well, you have till Thursday. It's a. It's just a. It's it's a lot of problems. Okay. So it is, um, and they're all kind of like this, and they're kind of tricky. So your homework is page uh, page five oh nine. It's on Schoology, I believe. Five. I think it's like one through twelve. Yeah. Draw the pictures. Last section. Let me write down one. Let me figure out what it is. And then we'll be done. Let's pause for a station identification. Oh, gee. Okay. 
So there's your Amharic page 509, 1 through 12, 15, 16, 18, 19. Quiz on Black Day, 9, 1 through 9, 6, to Thursday, February 23rd. Aren't I organized? Look at me. Okay. All right. You could start. <laughs>